Welcome everyone to what's happening at YRDSB. The school year is nearly over, but we've got a special episode for you today. We're going to look back at the 2019-2020 school year and do a recap of all the amazing things that took place. Let's get started. Back in the fall, students at Beverly Acres Public School had the opportunity to see the Stanley Cup in person when St. Louis Blues Assistant General Manager Bill Armstrong came by for a visit. Inclusive School and Community Services and the Alliance of Educators for Muslim Students hosted families, staff and students to an exciting evening of learning and dialogue at the Beyond Islamic Heritage Month event. Over the last two decades, the York Region District School Board's Quest Conference has brought together members of the educational community from around the world. This year's focus was on Indigenous education and equity. What I've appreciated about Quest this year is that everything started in a way that was centering Indigenous voice and opening in a good way. Middlefield Collegiate Institute's performance of Return to Nalur is one that folks will remember for years to come. It was a Tamil memory play performed by students and adapted from Return to Ithaca by Dr. Michael Vitopoulos, and it reflected a Tamil context and the lived experiences of the student body. This year's Black History Month focused on celebrating black excellence throughout our community, diving deeper into the stories of inspirational people of the past and present. This celebration continues to this day as we look beyond Black History Month. In case you missed it, be sure to check wiredsb.ca to explore our feature stories. Through celebrating black excellence, we launched the board's podcast, Tune In YRDSB, where we explore a wide range of topics related to education in York Region and beyond. As we headed into the final month of school, we began the celebrations of Pride Month. Although the usual ways of celebrating were not possible this year, they certainly did not stop people from coming up with creative ways to show their pride at home. Building on the important learning from Quest, YRDSB introduced additional supports to their celebration of Indigenous Peoples Month. These included videos, written profiles, and social features. This learning helps elevate Indigenous voices and empowers the board to move forward in a good way. But let's not forget the resiliency and creativity that was sparked during the school closures. Even though everyone's lives changed, that didn't stop folks from continuing their learning and supporting one another, which all led ultimately to the start of this new reimagined series, What's Happening at YRDSB, which has allowed us the opportunity to spread the good news throughout our region. And now, here are some honorable mentions of other stories we were able to tell this year. For the graduating class of 2020, for both grade 8s and 12s, we had someone very special help us in creating this. Hey there! Yeah, it's Max from Arkells. I want to send a massive shout out to the York Region District School Board.
Thanks again to the Arkells for participating with us. We want to wish the entire graduating class of 2020 all the best as you take your next steps. Well, that's it for today's episode. I hope you've enjoyed these highlights and that they've inspired you at home. You know, even though the school year is winding down, we still encourage you to share your learning with us. Thanks everyone for joining me, and remember, stay connected, YRDSB. Get the shame on, get